Hey, what's up gamers? and Fortune 5150 here, and I'm just going to do a quick video. Probably won't even put it on a normal schedule. We'll just go ahead and put this out. But uh, DLSS 4 is here, and there are a few things that you need to do to go ahead and enable that. And as you see, I'm just kind of using it in uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, the reflections are so much better with the new um, ray reconstruction or just DLSS in general. Uh, we're running on the RTX 4080 with the i7-14700K right now, but we're not doing a performance video in this one. We'll probably do one of those later on on our normal videos. I just want to show you how we can actually uh, fix this and get this actually working. Uh, one thing you just need to make sure that you have um, beforehand is right now we have uh, frame generation X2. You just need to make sure that frame generation is on, open up whatever game you want to enable uh, the new DLSS4 stuff on, and just make sure that frame generation is on. Uh, this in Hogwarts Legacy will just show on off uh, before you change it, and then after you'll have the, you know, the 2X, uh, 3X, 4X if you have a 50 series. So let's go ahead and look at the NVIDIA settings. All right, so as you get to your uh, your settings here, you'll be able to go ahead and change the graphics on the left side of the NVIDIA app, and then click on the game that you want to change. And then all the way down here, you'll have DLSS override model presets, and then you'll have the frame generation, and then you'll also have the super resolution. Now, what you need, you'll need to do is click on these. Now, there is an issue if you go here and it says unsupported still, you need to actually uninstall uh, NVIDIA app and then reinstall it. Just go ahead and go to your programs, uninstall, and just uh, download directly from NVIDIA in, and install the NVIDIA app again. And then once you bring it back up, you should have the options of this here where you'll be able to click on it and use different setting from the from each DLSS technology. And now if you want to go to latest on there, your reconstruction, you want latest. And then on super resolution, this is uh, where it gets a little weird. Um, they have a lot of different versions. You can do latest, but the model that they say to use is K. And we only have J. Maybe K is only for the 50 series. I'm not sure because I don't have a 50 series. I do not have that much money. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we go ahead and get the transformer model. Uh, the K is a little bit better than J from what I understand uh, in minor differences, but you go ahead and click on that here. You can use DLAA or uh, your ultra performance for DLSS override for super resolution. Uh, we'll use the 3D uh, application. So I'll just go ahead and restart my game and make sure it's all working. All right, so I have my game restarted, and you know I already kind of had some of this stuff installed, so it was already working. But yeah, that's all you really have to do. The main things you just need to make sure you do is update your NVIDIA app and reinstall it if you get the unsupported, and then make sure that you have the uh, the latest uh, driver installed for uh, January 30th for NVIDIA and you should be good to go and be able to uh, put on, on the games that support it. There's only a few games that uh, support it right now, so, like there's like 75, so maybe not all games are gonna have it. I was not able to see it in um, Final Fantasy 16, which it did say that it was supposed to be in there. So I'm not sure why it's not popping up as a supported game at all. Like it doesn't show up in the NVIDIA app at all. But anyway, uh, hopefully we will have a more uh, longer uh, gameplay of this later on. But yeah, I am kind of glad we have it. It definitely looks a lot better. Anyway, that's all we're going to do for this video today. Make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.